Party has spent 20 years on death row in Texas, convicted of murdering a young mother as part of a plot to steal her newborn baby. In a documentary tonight on ITV, I travelled to the prison where she's staying to talk to the British grandmother about the crime she insists she did not commit. In a moment, we'll meet one of the barristers fighting for her freedom. But first, here's a look at when Susanna met the only British woman on America's death row. A young woman who had just mm -hmm. four days before given birth to a precious baby boy ended up dead mm -hmm. in the boot of your car. Mm -hmm. And her newborn baby boy was discovered in your daughter's car. Mm -hmm. If you weren't the one responsible, mm -hmm. how did that happen? I don't know for sure because I wasn't there. But I can truthfully say and I can truthfully look you in the eye and tell you that I had nothing to do with this crime. Well, joining us now is Hugh Southey QC, a human rights barrister who's been campaigning for Linda's release for 17 years. Hugh Southey, it's, it, it's good to see you this morning. It is remarkable, I think, people will watch tonight and think, how does a woman who is convicted of such a brutal murder spend so long on death row? It, 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 in one sense, it's very difficult to understand. It's it, the American system... Uh, by our standards, is a slow system. Um, judges take years sometimes to deliver rulings, and that's part of the problem. If she had been convicted of murder here, would she still be in prison? Uh, quite probably not. Uh, it's difficult to be certain, but the sort of standard for min minimum term for murder is about 15 years. Um, assuming she posed no risk and in my experience, there's no reason to believe she poses a risk, she would then have been released after 15 years. However, she remains on death row. She is a convicted murderer. Every single one of her appeals has been uh, overruled. I mean, she just hasn't succeeded so far. However, she insists she is not guilty of this crime. And you support her. Uh, I do. I believe there's reasons to believe her conviction's unsafe. She was uh, poorly represented at trial. Uh, material wasn't disclosed that would have potentially been of value to her at trial. Uh, there wasn't a proper investigation by her defence team. Uh, and materials come to light that uh, undermines uh, so significantly her can conviction. I, can I just understand this? You're saying the conviction was unsafe, which is not quite the same thing as saying she didn't do it. So this is more about the jurisprudence, the, the, the legals behind the conviction, than, than guilt or not guilt. Well, no, it's not, it, it's not about her not being guilty. Guilt, prove, what it's about is proving innocence is very difficult. To prove positively someone didn't do something is very, different, is very difficult. But it is about the fact that there is d doubt about her guilt. And that's why I use the uh, language of unsafe. Uh, it, there are question marks over her guilt. She is there on death row, Mountain View unit in Texas. You have visited her before the pandemic once every year. Whether you... Whatever you think about the case, the fact remains, doesn't it, she could be the next woman to be executed and that would make her a British woman being executed by an American state. That's right. I mean, all of that is right. An execution date could be set at any, any day. Could the British government intervene? Well, the, the British government have tried to intervene and I'm sure will continue to try to intervene. Uh, they uh, filed pr uh, uh, argument in the Supreme Court and they've been very interested in Linda's case. Hugh Southey, thank you very much for joining us this morning. You what can, time's the programme on, Susanna? You can catch the full programme, 9 o'clock tonight, on ITV.